Hey y'all, I got cut off there, and uh, I've been playing around. <laughs> I kept drawing. Uh, since my last video, I've made a few more views of this one-point perspective thing, and you'll see that I had some fun with it. Uh, this is what we call the street view. I have one, two, and three cubes here to kind of help me understand what objects look like when they're above and below the horizon line. Uh, it's really fun to learn these skills because you can make a boring drawing, a simple stick figure, uh, look and interact in a way that's very engaging or interesting, right? Uh, for example, this stick figure is in the middle of nowhere, just standing on this abandoned highway. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's screaming at the, su the sky. I should probably give him some arms. What am I doing out here? Maybe get his legs a little bit longer. Where am I? I'm lost. But what we're doing is playing with a view here to create tension. Okay, This is called the bird's eye view. When I draw this, I get dizzy. Uh, it's different from the street view in the sense that in street view, your vanishing point whoop, right here lays right on the horizon line. In bird's eye view, I like to separate my street from my horizon. There really is no horizon here because you're looking from the top down, just like the camera is right now. And it creates this illusion of depth. All I did was add a square at each corner of my little panel here, and I played connect the dot. And you can see I just erased some of these lines. And often this happens. You'll get this kind of deal where you're, you're building wants to sink into the sidewalk and that just looks funny right it looks like it's coming out of nowhere but this little line is such a big deal it's so important to just put a little tiny perpendicular line to your street to create the illusion that these are standing on the ground I could even extend this this way to maybe uh, create the illusion of a sidewalk or something like that sure why not but uh, this is pretty advanced. I just want to share a couple other examples of perspective and having fun with it. Uh, you can create all types of sensations of maybe levitation or uh, create an, uh, an emotion or simply just enhance your drawings with fun looking stuff. Uh, here's a really cool version <laughs> of some SpongeBob drawings I did. Uh, I have SpongeBob in space. You'll note that when he goes above and below the horizon line, uh, you'll see the side of him, and you don't see the top or bottom. However, when you're above, looking down, uh, here's some of my buildings of SpongeBob. Uh, you'll see a little more information at the top of a building. And a, bur and a worm's eye view is still really awkward to me. It's the opposite of your bird's eye view. But in this scenario, when you create your squares, you have to do a little bit of tinkering and erase them. Unless you want like a clear building. You'll see I made my squares and I actually started with a, my vanishing point was right here in the center of the plane. I erased all this stuff, but you'll see that this all comes together right at one point and I'm creating a lot of tension and focus on the plane here. Voila. So fun stuff. Um, if you're struggling, Google it. Look up some YouTube videos or email me and uh, I can set up a meeting and walk you through it. But right now it's all about exploration. Um, oftentimes this really freaks people out the first time they do it uh, because it's a new game and you're learning new rules. But I want you to experiment. It's okay to fail. In fact, if you nail it the first time, I'd be pretty surprised. So have fun with it. Uh, make some SpongeBobs if you want. Make some Minecraft people. I don't care. Just make cubes in space and play. And find something that works for you. If something's working for you, stick with it. Uh, if everything else is a huge headache, um, make some block letters. Maybe make some letters and have your letters disappear into your vanishing points and play around. That's M for Matt, right? M H. So hope you have fun with it. I love doing this. A lot of my students do as well. And 
perhaps you will. So have a great day. Take care and keep on drawing.